Hey guys, it's Dima from Dimo's Tech. So I wanted to get rid of those headphones and today we are actually checking those free. This video actually started quite a long time ago. I've got annoyed by my old cheap headphones and I really wanted something true wireless and to try something like that. And the first pair that actually came in my mind is actually a pair that my friend bought, the Anker Soundcore Liberty 2. And I really wanted them, I mean, they look awesome, he told me pretty good things about them, so I decided that's a good thing to go with. And they cost quite a lot in our country, so I decided, hey, why not check them on AliExpress? Since they are a Chinese company and they have an official store on AliExpress, why shouldn't I check there? And yeah, and indeed they cost much less in AliExpress. So then I thought myself, well, I did get some revenue from YouTube. Thanks guys again. And why not use it actually to a little bit bigger YouTube video? So I've ordered those and I also ordered two of these. So this is the A6S Mipods and sometimes they are referred as Redmi Air Dots or some other stuff. They are the same, the package is a little bit different, it's always the same headphones. There are some Air Dots too right now, I'm not really sure if there's any difference actually, but those ones, well, my friend showed them to me later on, and they are just like 8 US dollars, something like that. So I didn't even think, I just bought them. And then another friend showed me those, the Tronsmart Onyx Ace. They cost about 32 US dollars, but they looked interesting and I decided to let's give them a try as well. I still was in the budget. So yeah, free headsets for the price of one in our country. Yeah, that's a good idea. It took a long while to actually test all of those free. I did test each one of those for a whole week. So I have some conclusions and honestly, I was surprised a lot. Let's begin. And those are the A6S Mipods. Well, they claim that they are Bluetooth Wireless 5. I doubt that, but let's see. I guess the box should be very simple. I mean, uh, it feels like a regular, you know, cheap cardboard, but uh, come on, $7? What would you expect? Actually, less than that, pretty sure. We even have a manual, uh, if I will, yeah. So the manual in Chinese, I guess there is no English here. Let's hope that uh, it doesn't matter for us. So we have a charging box. We have the headphones itself. Oh, wow, the plastic is very cheap. And wow, they seem to be interesting. And we have our tips, which we can replace. And we have the charging cable, which is sadly a micro USB. Oh well. What else would you expect in about $7? So, uh, let's move all that thing around. Okay, let's see, I'm not really sure how that will work for us. So, uh, here's one of the headphones, you know what, let's grab both of them. And I'll try to show you around a little, uh, in a little bit close up. So, uh, they do seem to have buttons here. Yeah, that's a button, and that's a button. They have microphones. Uh, as far as I understood from a friend that had the exact model, they can work standalone, which is very good, and also as a Bluetooth headset, which is awesome. Uh, they feel... Okay, honestly, they do feel cheap. Seriously. I shake them and I hear something inside. But uh, let's hope that they actually work. And we have the case, let's look at the case. So, uh, the case is plasticky, nothing too special. Um, it has the micro USB here, as you can see. And let's see, there is no LED that I can find here. Well, let's open it. Honestly, it's pretty satisfying. It's not a high quality case as well, but it feels good. So, let's try to put them in and see how that goes. Not really sure which one goes where. That one is this one and that one is this one. Uh, they are magnetic. I guess if I'll try to flip them, they will fall eventually? Nope. Well, they do not fall. Okay, that's good. Let's close the case. Uh, 
I'd say they seem to be awesome. Now, I have no idea if they have any charge, honestly. And it doesn't seem that they do, so I guess we'll have to charge them first. So, they seem to be charged. And honestly, I actually already paired and tried them. But I don't know, some things are a little bit weird. Anyways, I disconnected them from the device and there's a problem. I still didn't understand how actually you pair them. So uh, now the box is open and still I don't see them here. Let's try the pair new device and uh, I think I won't see them here. They are showing like T6 or something like that. And yeah, we don't see them. Let me try to take one out and put in my uh, ear, so we'll know better. And actually, TWS6, here it is. And yeah, we can actually connect them. And we are connected. So uh, now there are kind of weird things. So currently only one is active. So this one is sort of turned off, honestly. I'm not really sure how exactly that works. Let's try to close the box. Okay, now the box is irrelevant for now. Okay, so uh, let's go to some music player or something and let's play a particular song that is usually pretty good for such tests, uh, which is Contact by Daft Punk. Now, currently I'm hearing it on one ear, not both, obviously. And let's try to press once on the headset. Let me, you know what, let's do it like this in front of the camera. And you'll see that whenever I press, it's paused. And if I'll press again, it will continue. Now, if I'll press double click, it will actually... It will actually, for some reason, bring for a second uh, that, um, you know, the volume rocker. Oh, and actually double click on that lowers the volume. I think on the other one, it will actually move the volume up. Let me try that, you know what? Let's bring them both here. So, this one we've seen. Double pressing makes the volume lower. Let's see about that one. Yep, that one makes the volume higher. Now, triple pressing, as I said, one of them tries to call, the other one uses the Google Assistant. So that's quite weird, because uh, I'm never sure which one of them is which for some reason for the Google Assistant. It's just a matter of time till I remember which one, that's it. Now, there's another thing, if I long press, this one will go to the next song, and if I long press on the other one, it will go back. Now, keep in mind that um, you do need to do that fast, because it won't go back after a few seconds, it will just reset the current song, but that depends on your player, I think. So, what happened now was actually a little bit weird, because someone called me, and whenever someone is calling, uh, it just... Uh, shouts at you incoming call incoming call incoming call non-stop until you answer or dismiss the call That's really annoying at least I don't know read the number of a name or something No, it just goes without stopping. That's I don't know. I don't really like that idea now in terms of volume I can say that they are pretty loud now the music sounds uh, well I don't want to say teeny uh, it sounds pretty okay, actually. Uh, compared to those, uh, it's actually better, I'd say. Uh, now, again, uh, those are very little earphones. Don't expect, like, uh, I don't know, huge bass or anything, but they sound okay. I tried their microphone as well, and how should I say this? Well, it works, but don't expect magic from it, I guess. So during this whole shoot, they actually charged, and uh, that's quite nice. So, uh, in the end, what I have to say about those, they are kind of nice, I mean, they do work, and they work pretty nice. For 7 bucks, seriously, even for 9 or 11, like I saw them here and there, it's a good deal. I mean, don't expect too much. Now here we have a Tronsmart Onyx Ace headphones. So as we've seen, the packaging is really, really nice. It looks really good. Now let's take out the headphones. 
for the first time and you'll notice right away something very very good about those, in my opinion. They're not those with the silicone tips that go into your ear canal, they just sit in your ears like pretty much the AirPods. And honestly, though I don't like Apple, I do like this method much more. I actually hate those silicone tips that go inside your hair. As we can see, actually, this headset is already on. <laughs> well, that's kind of nice. So, let's see the case as well. And that's why you don't see any tips here. So, this is the case. And let me know what you think about the case. Honestly, I'd say it's very ugly. Oh, that's, that's a nice magnetic sound, I'd say. It's not the best. It's good enough and it has some juice. And I actually don't like this case, but we have a solution for that. If you look closely, we have here USB Type-C. Finally, thank you. So, um, let's put those headphones for a moment. Oh, that one goes here. Okay. Okay. You do need to kind of get used to it. And for the case, we actually have a solution. It comes with actually this one with no additional price. I guess the seller that I bought it from on AliExpress, which uh, actually costed me $32, something like that. Uh, I guess this thing, well, he puts it because he knows the case is ugly. And let's put it in. Not really sure. You have different colors, so keep that in mind, you can choose. And honestly, it doesn't seem to be fitting, or actually, you know what? It does fit perfectly, but so perfect that it's actually hard to put. Yeah, it's uh, it's not exactly perfect fit. Now, those headphones are a little bit different from what we've seen so far. They are actually, I'd say, very interesting. So first of all, you've seen, they uh, don't have those uh, rubber or silicon tips here, which is already different. And they are pretty much totally different because they have different controls. They have even some noise cancellation, but this one is actually for the microphones, for calls. So they have quad microphone noise reduction for clear calls. I'm not really sure if we have a way to test that, but we will try. And as I've said, we have a USB-C. Also, they claim to actually last for up to 24 hours with that case. Now, pretty much any headphones company claims that these days, but you never know. And if we look on the back of the box, we have actually lots of features here, and I'm not even going to read all of them. Now, they are going to be very good for you. Basically, it should even support the voice assistance, and I'm not fully sure about that. They're sweatproof. You even got here a warranty card, which is nice. And basically the package seems really nice. I mean, Transmart is a pretty known company nowadays and it seems like the quality of this product is really good. So, uh, let me try to actually get them working with my phone and we'll see how it works. I am after my first initial test with those. And honestly, I thought I'll compare them to those. Or same goes to these. Nope. Totally uncomparable. Actually, they are much more closer to those. Can you explain me that? Those things are... Were, when I bought them, they were about 400 US dollars. Those things are basically same quality. Yeah, I'm serious. Same audio quality. Or maybe a little bit less bass, obviously. In a smaller size, long battery. Without, obviously, the active noise cancellation, yet, wow, they are very, very good. I mean, I totally didn't expect, I mean, I, sure, I knew that they will be much better sounding than the ones from, sort of, Xiaomi, well, you know, those, but I didn't expect that much quality from them. Now, the microphones, well, they seem to be okay, but very yet to be tested more and I'll take those for a spin of a week like I did with the Xiaomi ones. If you think they are perfect, no they are not. So I actually went far from my phone with those and they did disconnect pretty much to the same spot the 
where every other headphone disconnects for me. Now the thing is, if they are totally disconnected, it's a little bit annoying to know when they are connected again, you don't really understand the chimes that those make, but uh, it was quite okay. Now keep in mind that when they connected, they didn't connect really fast, and there's a reason for that. So remember all those high quality things here, and all the sound? Well, basically those uh, Qualcomm chip, uh, APTX and everything, well, uh, that lossless audio and things, they are not connected at the same time and at the same way when those are connected. So when you actually connect those, you at first hear some differences in the sound, and it takes a little bit, a few seconds usually, to actually normalize, and that's a little bit annoying. But honestly, when they work and connected, wow! Now that was an amazing experience. On higher volumes, you don't hear any tearing or something like, you know, in very cheap headphones or something. And if those, I would still say teeny sound. Those? Nope, totally no. And on the highest volume, I actually turned on a video on my computer that was playing CD noise. And honestly, while that video was playing, on about 70 or 60% of volume of those headphones, I did hear a little bit noises, for example, it was a rain noise or something like that. I did hear that. When I went to full volume, nothing, nothing at all. Just a reminder, those are sweat resistant, which means no rain should harm them. I can't wait to use those more. Seriously, I'm gonna love this week, I guess. So, uh, the touch thingy is, if we look closely, the metal part here at the top. It's little, it's good, it's working nice after we get to know it. And double click will pause the audio, you can see, double click again, and that will work on both of them. Now hitting once will actually increase the volume. And it's a little bit annoying, but yeah, you can do that. And on that one, if we'll double press, as I said, it will pause and play. If we'll do once, it will decrease the volume. And if we'll uh, long press for about two seconds, it will go back or restart the current song. If we'll hit that one for about two seconds, it will go to the next song, which currently is the same song because we have nothing in the playlist. Now, all the gestures are written in the document, and honestly, I can't say that they are the best and the most comfortable here, so uh, I'm not really sure about those. But one thing for sure, they do work. Oh, and by the way, tapping three times quickly, let's try that, will open the Google Assistant. It does take a moment sometimes, but it depends on the phone mostly. And five seconds holding that button will actually turn off the headphones. It will turn off both of them, but turning on is only turning on one of them, which is quite annoying, but you can pretty much press on both of your headsets on the ears. Not too strong, they are very gentle actually, which is very nice. It's not buttons, it's touch, so it works really well. And that will turn both of them and they will connect pretty much at the same time. So that's quite convenient. Now I guess one of them is acting as active and one of them is passive. And whenever you actually get one into its cradle and close it, the other one will continue playing as usual. But if you actually take the active one, let's try that, I think currently that, that's the active, and if we'll do that, it will disconnect and after a moment that one will reconnect and you will still have to now it actually auto plays but keep in mind that one of them is always active and the other one is passive and whenever you actually disconnect the active it might be a little bit annoying for a few seconds and our final contestant for today is the anchor soundcore liberty air 2 now technically everything started with those headphones I actually thought of buying them since my friend got them, and honestly they look awesome in my opinion. Now I really wanted to get those, though there are some disadvantages in those as well. 
but there are many advantages and you'll see soon. Now their price is totally different from all the others. If the Tronsmart were about $32 and the Xiaomi lookalikes were about $8, this one is closer to $100. US and in my country I could get them for actually even higher. And I decided it's okay for me to wait and order them through AliExpress, which I did. Then I realized since they're a lot cheaper, I could get the two other pairs as well. Let's look what they have. So first of all, those come with an app. And that's a little bit different from what we've seen so far because the others didn't have any app. As you can see, the package is also somewhat different. So let's take everything out. Oh, it's already automatically opening. Accessory is under the tray. That's awesome that we right there because sometimes you are not sure. Oh, the package is really high quality, I can tell you. Yeah, the package is, as you can see, everything is in detail here. And that's quite awesome because it's very convenient. And we have here our cable. And it's a USB Type-C this time, which is also good. And some, I guess, model. How do we sound? That's quite cool. Let's see what else is here, because it seems like... Uh, it's a bunch of manuals and things, so that's quite awesome. And you have multiple tips, if you like. And honestly, that can be actually very convenient. If you're not sure which one you need, that will be nice. And for me, yeah, I always have problems with those. So we have a pairing manual, sort of, but it's quite simple and there's nothing interesting here, I guess. So, we have a box itself, and yeah, that's a pretty average box, and as I said, we have USB Type-C and a button here, I guess it's for reset or pairing or something. Let's see how it closes. That's a nice sound, really good. Nothing on the back, and on top we have a Soundcore logo. So, let's look at the headphones themselves. So those are the earbuds and you can see they have some red color inside and we do have some plastic here that we can remove. Guess we can remove it like that. That's it. Let's try to take a closer look. They have some red color tint here and there which is awesome. It looks really really good and I really like it personally. Honestly, they actually feel somewhat heavier probably than the others. Which is a little bit strange. And I can see that they are already on and they're blinking. So have that something aside. And it seems like this thing is touch also. It's not a button or something. Not really sure if the touch is here or all the way around. We'll have to test that. Let's put them inside the box and see how it goes. This one goes here, and the left one, yeah, okay. So they do have some charge, but not fully charged, that's okay, I guess. And their app is actually very smart, so they claim that you should actually download it, and it sort of will test your hearing and will adjust the equalizer for your ears. That's quite awesome. And I think we can rearrange some of the buttons, we'll have to test that soon. So we have some other things here on the box written that you might be interested. So we have premium audio clarity via diamond coated drivers. I'm not really sure how a gimmick it is or not. We have four microphones with uplink noise cancellation. Now again, this is not active noise cancellation. It's more of a cancellation while you are talking to someone on the microphones. That's what it is. Here ID, which is uh, your personalized sound, you basically can personalize it in the app and uh, it should sound much better for you. Though I doubt how good it is, but again, we'll test it soon. And we have charge for 10 minutes and listen for 2 hours, which is great if you forget to charge them, it will really help. Compatible with wireless charging, and yeah, this is something that we didn't have on any other pair. And finally, that will be great, you just put them on a wireless charger. If your phone supports it, you probably already have one. Just put them and it will charge them, that's good. And since those are just headphones, 
they usually don't have a big battery capacity which means that they will charge pretty fast enough on any Qi charger that there is. 7 hours playtime, that's uh, something pretty good and really convenient, but I will never even be able to test it I guess, and 28 hours with a charging case. And it's fully sweatproof. And like the Tronsmart, they also have Qualcomm APTX. So we have our Qi charger here, and let's try to test them. So I'm not fully sure if you'll be able to see, but we'll see. Yes, you do need to find that. Okay, here it is. Yeah, they are charging now. And as you can see, yeah, there are dots, everything, and they are charging. That's quite awesome. So let me download the app, and we'll see how it goes. Before I even continue, seems that we have some uh, few more updates. So let's download it. And it claimed it has some bug fixes. That was a pretty fast download. And the installation is probably much slower. So initial listening done. And honestly, I have some confused feelings about them. Don't get me wrong, they sound good. I am having a hard time comparing their sound quality with the Tronsmart, which is good, I'd say, because that's a tough fight. I mean, this one sounds like my big Sony headphones, and that one sounds close enough. I'm just thinking that it has a different type of sound signature, and that makes it feel different. Honestly, I'm not fully sure if they're the best, but they do sound good, both in the highs, mids, treble, whatever you want, they do sound good. Now, there is the equalizer thing, which has some weird and cool things. So, there are the default ones, and basically you can choose here kind of cool, normal features, you know, the rock, R&B, whatever you prefer. You can try them out. Uh, I don't know, I didn't try all of them, just a few for testing. That sounds cool. Then there are professional ones, which I totally don't understand. You have some people, which I don't know any one of them, sorry. And then you have your custom that you can pretty much customize uh, as you want it. That's kind of cool. You can probably save them as well. And you have a personalize. Now, personalize is something cool. Let me just enable that one. The idea here is that you sort of test your sound. So first of all, it gives you some sounds on each of the earbuds and you need to press and hold a button here in order to tell it if you can hear the sound or not. And you'll see noises from different kilohertz, ranges, etc. And after it's done, it will sort of build your own profile like this. And as you can see, my ears are a little bit different in the mid-range, which is kind of interesting, but that's what it is. And it sounds really good, actually. I still use the default now mostly because I wanted to know how they sound originally, and that's quite cool. Now on the home, if you go here, you have both of the earbuds and you can see how much battery each one of them has. Now on the case you do can see the battery if you open it, you can see here two lights or three, so that's something. And if we'll go back to the app, we can also go to the controls, as I said. And the touch is basically the logo, so here you can press and uh, double press and long press and you can control it in the app as we'll see in the moment. And that works really good. That's, I have no complaints with that. So let's go back to the app if we look closely. We have some options here in the app and basically you can customize everything. So for example, single tap for left and right, double tap for left and right, uh, hold two seconds, Sadly, there's nothing else. I mean, I would want more, actually. I mean, it's a decent amount of controls, but, for example, I'm left without going to the previous song. So, for example, for me, I set the volume up and down on single tap, double tap to play pause on both of them, which I think maybe this one I can change. And you know what? Actually, I will. Yeah, so I'll set the voice assistant here, I guess. And then, on hold two seconds, I can set this one to go to previous song. Yeah, that will be perfect. And basically, you can do this as you want. And you also have auto-pause, so if you'll take the earbuds out of your ear, they will auto-pause your music. 
This is awesome. Uh, this is the first earbuds that I have that actually do that, finally. And honestly, everything is pretty good so far. There's nothing to complain, except one little thing. So honestly, there's one thing that I don't like and those are the ear tips. It's not that the ear tips are bad, I just don't like the earbuds that have those tips that go inside your ear. I don't know, just not my thing and I had tough time to actually choose something that will hold in my ear pretty good and honestly I thought it will be the extra small ones. By the way, you can see now the sensor that senses if they are inside your ear or not and here you can tell that it's working. I thought the small ones or the extra small ones will be good for me but I ended up using actually the large ones and I think they just fit good enough so they won't fall that easy or I won't feel that it's too far inside my ears yet it holds and does give you some noise isolation which is actually very good here with those tips so that's something you should uh, bear in mind uh, that's a quite good thing but again I just don't really like the thing that you have those tips I prefer something like the Tronsmarts that just sits on your ear and not inside your ear canal so for the first week I used the Mipods and honestly they are very cheap they are pretty good actually they fit pretty well the connectivity of the Bluetooth worked really well I couldn't verify if it's actually Bluetooth 5 or not though it claims but they work really well and nice. The battery was okay for all the three of them, I didn't really test the battery that much, and they work nice. They fit quite okay in your ears, and for me it was actually pretty okay. I don't usually like those silicones that go inside your ear, which they do have, but you have some fits, and they fit pretty okay if you are into those things. Now the sound ceiling isn't that good, but they are quite comfortable, they might fall sometime, but it didn't really happen to me. Uh, maybe once I felt like it was falling, but it wasn't. So in that part they did really well. Their sound and volume are okay, uh, I mean it's quite expected for 8 US dollars. But in noisy environments you might want to actually go to higher volumes in order to keep the surrounding sound uh, away from you and then the sound might get a little bit too teeny but still not something that bad i mean don't expect them to be like uh, super high quality but they are definitely good and the sound is okay so they are pretty good choice for eight us dollars you just can't go wrong a friend helped me to test the microphone during uh, calls and uh, he said that he heard me with those Pretty okay, not something that good, but uh, it was okay and bearable, it was totally fine and worked. Now, the controls logic, and I mean by that, uh, what do you need to press and where in order to change your song or the volume, etc. That's really okay here. Sadly, the buttons themselves are very kind of clicky and uh, it, they just feel cheap, sadly. After some usage, you just get enough of it and you prefer to change the songs and everything from your phone or from your watch but not pressing on them you pretty much want to avoid it it does work and it's okay but uh, it's not something that you want to use that much overall an updated version of them if it would have better buttons quality and maybe even USB-C and G charging that would make them in my opinion pretty much an ultimate choice and yeah, I know those uh, things would probably cost much more, but still, they would be affordable enough and good, I'm pretty sure, and hopefully we'll see something like that as well. For my next week test, I tested the Tronsmart, and honestly, the case looks ugly. Seriously, it looks kind of small and okay in size, but the case looks ugly, but that's okay. That's not something too important. In terms of connectivity, they worked pretty okay, but there were some disconnections sometimes, and I think it's due to my phone being a little bit old and the compatibility with the aptX codec or whatever it is called that you can actually disable. Whenever you disable it, it actually works pretty perfectly, and even if you don't, most of the time they did really well, even with that codec enabled. 
it was nothing terrible or something it was just some disconnections they take time in order to connect not only the Bluetooth connection stably, but also with that aptX. The range on the Bluetooth, uh, it was quite normal, uh, pretty much the same as any other headset I tried so far. Nothing too bad actually, so I didn't have any issues with that. Now the control logic here is actually awesome and it's touch. So that's really awesome. I mean, seriously, if I had to choose some headsets with the best touch and the best control logics, it's that. Seriously, it's the most comfortable, I didn't see anything much better than that. Sadly, you cannot control it, I mean, if you want to change something, they don't have any app or something, so it is somewhat a downside that you cannot change the controls, but they are that good that I don't think you really want to change them ever. So in that case, they're awesome. In terms of ear tips, they don't have any. Those are the ones that sit on your ear and they don't have that silicone tip that goes inside. That's some sort of like the Apple AirPods. I prefer actually that way. I dislike those that go inside your ear. It's just not comfortable for me. Maybe my ears are different, but this is the way to go for me. Even though the sound ceiling is pretty much doesn't exist here. I still prefer it that way. In terms of the sound, I thought I'm going to compare them to any other to wireless headset or something like that. No, 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 no. Those ones you need to compare with my big Sony ones. <laughs> the quality of the sound here is absolutely amazing. Both in the lower volumes, in the higher ones, whatever. It just doesn't matter. The sound quality is awesome here. Seriously, that's how I like my sound. In that term, they win everything and seriously, they totally worth just for that. If not all the other stuff as well, obviously. Now the microphones? Well, that's actually surprised us as well. It worked okay and actually pretty better than all the others, including the Sony ones, but the Sony ones were known to have a bad microphone there, so they are actually good here. And seriously, they win even that one. Overall, this thing is very good and honestly, if I would change something here is the look of that stupid case, I just dislike how it looks. And even though that I got a silicon rubber sort of case for it, just not good enough, I think. And honestly, maybe add the Qi charge in here and an option to remap the buttons. Otherwise, they're definitely a winner and they're perfect. So, finally, a week with the Soundcore Liberty 2 and I was really excited because those are the headphones that actually started all of this and those are the most expensive headphones and honestly they look awesome, they do look awesome, seriously, that's, that's quite a look they have. Now, sadly, that's pretty much where it ends, I mean, they are the most expensive but they are not the best. And honestly, the sound, if you don't seal them properly, it's pretty much garbage. It sounds tinny because the headphones aren't firing the sound directly to your ear canals. Again, if you don't seal it properly. And they do come with some ear tips, with some different sizes. And honestly, uh, I don't know, I, nothing fitted me very well. Whenever I did get some good sealing, it felt after some time or after I was speaking or eating something that the earphones are kind of going out and pretty much almost falling. And those can fall, trust me, if you don't put them properly, they will fall. I did caught one of them once, but uh, it's something that, I don't know, I felt like every few minutes I have to readjust them so they will be properly in my ear canals. I don't think it's a problem with the earbuds, it's more problem probably with my ears and how I wear earbuds, so consider that. And honestly, when you do seal it good, the sound quality is pretty good. I mean, you can mix them with a Tronsmart, which has awesome sound, and those pretty much have it good as well. Keep in mind that the app allows you to change your uh, equalizer and even sort of test your earring and then adjust it automatically. Uh, I didn't really understand that. I tried that, but seriously, the default one worked 
better for me, I guess. I don't know, it sounded pretty much better for me. And I don't know, overall the touches here for the controls are very good. They're pretty much the same as the Transmart again. Maybe even a bigger place to touch, but uh, that doesn't fully matter. In terms of the controls, they are quite comfortable. Now, controls logic is irrelevant here because in the app you can change pretty much anything. And I pretty much changed it uh, to work almost the same as the Tronsmart. And uh, actually, that's it in terms of control. They did a good job. Now, we did test the microphone with those in a call, and my friend barely could hear me. It actually was pretty garbage. That was weird. But to be fair, the other friend that had those earphones, he spoke to me a few times with them and he sounded totally okay. So maybe it's this pair or something. I'm not fully sure. Maybe it depends on other things as well. But in my test, sadly, it, they didn't sound good on the other side as well. In terms of volume, actually, they don't get too high volume. Though you don't really need it if they are sealed properly, you won't go that high with volume, there's no need for that. You'll hear perfectly good in lower volume and nothing in the surrounding will affect that. One of the upsides on them, they actually have Qi charging, so you can charge them wirelessly, it works really well, which I actually did, sadly the others don't have it, but for their price, uh, I wouldn't go with them just for that feature, obviously. In the end, if you are okay with ear tips going directly into your ear canal, those might be a good choice. They are expensive, but they look awesome, they have some good controls, they come from a good company, wireless charging, USB Type-C, that's an awesome deal if you actually search for something like that. But I've gotta be honest, it's not the product for me and after a week I actually gave up on them and ended up using my favorite ones, Veteran Smart. Thank you for watching this Demostech episode. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you won't miss any future video. And I'll see you on the next one.